Apple breaks a new record and 3D printers head to space. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. When Apple's new iPhone 6 models went on sale in stores Friday, we saw record long lines. And it turns out, Apple also sold a record number of phones for the first weekend. Around the world, Apple sold 10 million iPhone 6 and 6 Plus phones, which is 1 million more than last year's iPhone 5S and 5C launch weekend. Apple doesn't specify how many of each model are sold. Now that the iPhone mania is winding down, it's time for Android to step back into the spotlight. The Samsung Galaxy Alpha smartphone is arriving here in the U.S. on Friday exclusively at AT&T. It has a metal frame around it to stand out from the sea of plastic Galaxy phones but it doesn't have the best hardware specs, which is too bad because it costs the same as the high-end S5 priced at $200 with a contract. And we'll have to keep an eye out for a new Nexus 9 Google tablet. It's said to be made by HTC, according to a Wall Street Journal report. And that's interesting because HTC doesn't currently make tablets. Sony's PlayStation TV set-top box is arriving to the U.S. in less than one month. On October 14th, it'll cost $100 and to pump up interest Sony announced that there will be nearly 700 games available to play on launch day and it'll also be sold in a $140 bundle that includes a DualShock 3 controller, an 8 gig memory card and the Lego movie game. PlayStation TV is something you may want to get for a bedroom. It plays PS Vita games and you can download older PlayStation 1 games and if you have the new PlayStation 4 system in your living room, it'll stream those games to your PlayStation TV so you can play in another room. You can also use it to stream video from services like Netflix and Hulu Plus. And there's something pretty interesting going on now off our planet. SpaceX's Dragon capsule was launched Sunday from Cape Canaveral, Florida, heading to the International Space Station, where it will deliver the first 3D printer that can be used in zero gravity. The printer was created by a company called Made in Space. With the ability to print plastic objects at the space station, this would mark the first time humans are able to build tools off planet Earth. This does require spools of plastic filament to be delivered, but engineers are researching ways to use the soil, dust, and rock from the moon as ingredients so objects can be made with natural space resources. That's your tech news update. You can find more details about the 3D printer and other stories on CNET.com. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated every day. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.